coming to mineral metabolism so in this metabolism first we will discuss about calcium so calcium is the most important mineral in our body so when you see the sources of calcium they are milk and milk products so the, the rich sources for the calcium and what is the RDA what is the daily requirement of calcium it is 500 mg in case of adults in case of children it is 1200 mg milligrams per day and in case of pregnancy and lactation the requirement increases it will be 1500 milligrams per day so that's about the daily requirement of calcium and factors affecting the calcium absorption there are some factors so which affect the absorption of calcium so there are some factors which increase the absorption helping the increased absorption of calcium and factors there are some factors which decrease the absorption of calcium so collectively we call them as factors affecting calcium absorption so what are those factors so first we will see factors increasing the calcium absorption so that is vitamin d calcitriol increases the absorption of calcium parathyroid hormone pth increases the uh, calcium absorption acidity favors the calcium absorption and lysine and arginine these two amino acids they favor the absorption of calcium where there are some factors which decrease the which decrease the absorption of uh, calcium those are phytates phytic acid oxalates and malabsorption syndromes so any malabsorption syndrome it leads to decreased absorption of calcium and apart from that we have phosphate so these are the factors which are decreasing the calcium absorption now coming to functions functions of calcium which is very important mineral so the most important these are the important functions of calcium you can see so those are activation of enzymes but calcium is required for the activation of enzymes like pyruvate kinase pyruvate dehydrogenase right so these are the important uh, phospholipase c so like this it is involved in the activation of some enzymes and uh, there is one protein called as calmodulin so when that enzyme so calmodulin is activated when calcium binds with calmodulin so calmodulin only active exists as active when calcium binds with calmodulin so in this way it mediates the activation of enzymes so that is one rule of calcium coming to muscle contraction so whenever neuron signal reaches the muscle then the calcium is released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum and that calcium activates a protein ATPase then that ATPase increases the attraction between the actin and myosin that leads to excitation contraction coupling so that's how it leads to muscle contraction and helps in the muscle contraction and coming to bone and teeth formation the most important mineral required for the bone and teeth formation is calcium and coming to another function coagulation so there are some coagulation factors so this uh, calcium is called as a, a coagulation factors so because for the activation again and for the activation of some important coagulation factors we require calcium right so that's how the uh, role of calcium in coagulation the second messenger calcium acts as a second messenger as so we, you can compare with that of cyclic amp as it acts as second messenger calcium also acts as second messenger yeah. coming to uh, myocardium its effect on heart so calcium prolongs this stool so sudden intravenous injection of calcium leads to heart heart stops in this stool so whenever there is sudden infusion of calcium intravenous infusion of calcium so that is the effect of calcium on the myocardium so it leads to cardiac arrest in the systole heart stops in systole and coming to nerve conduction so calcium is also involved in the nerve conduction signals for the transmission of signals from the postsynaptic region to the presynaptic region so with presynaptic region to the postsynaptic region we require calcium so in this way it is required in the nerve conduction coming to another important function secretion of hormones secretion of hormones like calcit uh, calcitonin parathyroid hormone so those are mediated by calcium so these are the important functions of calcium